wondered what it would be like to date King Kong, you know, someone really big and hairy. Someone who would like go to the end of the world for you. Someone who would just grab you in his big hairy paw and climb up a really tall building. You know, the real estate value on that place alone was worth a fortune. And can you imagine just having some big old gorilla come take you away and just put you right in the top of the Empire State Building. I don't know what she was so upset about. I mean, of course, sooner or later, the government, the IRS, the cops, they're gonna have to come and spoil everything. But I mean, he was totally devoted to her. I love that. Someone who would just, I don't even care if it's like, you know, a, a mountain. I'd be more than thrilled to just perch up on top of a mountain with my King King Kong. I really would. I mean, I don't really expect much, but I sure hope for a lot. Is that selfish? I don't think so. But you know, we'd have to be by a huge body of water, which really makes perfect sense for King Kong and the Empire State Building. He could use the Hudson or the East River as his bathtub. He'd probably be real clean. Because I'm, I don't mind sleeping with a gorilla, but he's really got to be clean. I mean, that's just one of my basic rules. Cleanliness. I don't want to have to bring in a huge, you know, I guess in his case it would be a tarp or a, a, a circus tent or something to use as a washcloth just to swab him off. You know, I don't want to have to do that before. I'm more than willing to help out afterward, you know. That seems only fair, I mean, by that point, everything's a mess, but I don't like to start out dirty. 